Dear brothers and sisters, today we are on a mission in the northern Ari Marianas Islands and this is the island of Rota or Luta, the southernmost island of this group. The group altogether has 14 islands, of which three are populated and uh, another 11 have almost no population. Those are volcanoes and uh, have goats. Um, well, at most, maybe uh, 40, 50 people live on the rest, uh, rest of the islands. So one of those populated islands is this island of Rota, which is uh, the least populated. It's about only 3,000 people who live here. And uh, it's further away from civilization than any other of these three islands. Okay? Uh, so it's preserved the culture the Chamorro culture the most, the language. Uh, it's been uh, less Americanized. And uh, hopefully we can establish the Orthodox mission here in this, in this place. And uh, today I uh, want to uh, talk about the reflection that I have while being here in this uh, CNMI, this uh, Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Uh, which, and I will uh, talk more about the island of Rota itself in my next video. Well, uh, the, there was a mission here about 200 years ago. The Orthodox missionaries came, there was this opportunity, they came on the ships together with the explorers that were going through all the Pacific Ocean and they were sailing to Hawaii to uh, Marianas, to Aleutian Islands, uh, to Taiwan, to many other places. Okay. And uh, here on Marianas we have records that uh, there were uh, scientists here, even uh, they talk about settlement that was uh, here. Uh, some families he lived here uh, on the island of Tinian, uh, Saipan. We uh, even have some people say uh, about uh, church and uh, priest uh, serving here, doing liturgy, divine services. Uh, well, we'll do more research on it to have some uh, more um, documented records. But all of that is history. Okay, that mission that uh, came here, um, we don't see anything remaining from that history, unfortunately. Uh, it was um, not for long period of time and uh, the locals did not um, receive the message at that time. So the Lord is giving us the opportunity to do the mission again, okay? With the technology now we can uh, sit on the plane, come here and uh, do mission. And that's what we uh, were doing, okay? But uh, my visit here is a little bit uh, late, it feels like a little bit uh, delayed because uh, from the 90s there were uh, very many uh, Orthodox here, okay, coming from Russia, from um, Greece, from Ukraine, uh, from Serbia. Okay. Uh, they were doing business in uh, Saipan, in Guam, uh, buying real estate, um, okay, uh, having tourism and all kinds of uh, services here and um, there were talks of establishing the church okay building a chapel um, but unfortunately those talks did not uh, materialize okay at that time it was easy to uh, ask for missionaries to come okay no visa uh, for anyone coming from russia uh, so that was a great excellent time for mission okay um, however uh, this opportunity uh, was not uh, used, okay? So now we also have uh, no Orthodox mission established here, remaining functioning here. That would be a great, okay? There would be Orthodox uh, witnessing testimony going on right now, if that would be done. Um, but unfortunately, for 20 years, we have that, uh, we have this, uh, window of opportunity of 20 years that was not difficult to begin the mission here however it was not done and now 
this window closed. Okay, my visit here during this pandemic times, uh, it's difficult to um, ask anyone else to come over. It's uh, difficult uh, to uh, to do mission with so few people Orthodox here. Okay, now most of those who lived here they left already. They went uh, elsewhere. So uh, in many respect. Uh, we've uh, missed that opportunity. Um, well, we still try, we still, uh, we need to still okay, uh, do what we can because the Lord wants the mission to develop, to expand, to have the Orthodox presence everywhere, okay, on these islands, on all the islands of the Pacific and uh, other oceans. Uh, however, uh, what um, uh, my feeling is, is not uh, just the problem of the Marianas and the mission here. The problem is that uh, uh, all of us have some opportunities, some windows of mission opportunities that are open to us right now, okay? But we don't think about it. We don't uh, uh, value that. We're waiting for some the providence of God to fix things. And we ourselves, we just wait and, okay, so for us, the Marianas Islands may be next door, maybe it's our neighbor, maybe it's our, it's another town which has nothing orthodox. Maybe uh, this is another platform in the internet, YouTube, uh, WeChat, WhatsApp, uh, some internet platform. Okay, the world is becoming uh, cyber trash. Okay, it's gonna be just a cyber desert. Okay, uh, children are taught to live in those virtual reality things, in those games, in those portals, uh, and there is nothing orthodox there. And we are able to do mission uh, anytime in uh, many different places, okay? Uh, to testimony, to witness our love for Christ, our faith, to um, uh, bring the message, okay? To outreach to others, okay? Uh, we should not be lazy. Our problem is that we are lazy and we are not using those windows op of opportunity as is evident here, okay, uh, mainly in Saipan. I saw that in Saipan and uh, um, here on Rota, uh, here on Rota it's also now a little bit too late, okay. Uh, so please pray for the mission here, please do mission on your place, okay, just uh, take this uh, as a challenge that the Lord is giving to you, the Mary Anna's Islands next door, okay, with your relatives, with your friends, okay, with yourself. Okay, we need, uh, of course, to bring the message not with passion, not with some uh, fanatism, okay, not like a neophyte. We need to have um, good grounding in faith so that we know what we're talking about. We need to have experience. The faith should uh, go through our hearts so that um, it is not some just knowledge that we share, that we share what we live, that we share our love for Christ. This is Apostle Paul, uh, his, his message. He, he, he loved Christ and he shared this love with others. He wanted others to be in love with Christ. That was his, his goal, his mission. This is what we uh, should do. Just as a message uh, just as a symbolic commemoration and maybe a invitation for the locals to know more about the orthodox church we are now planning to establish uh, three orthodox crosses commemorative crosses on the marianas islands uh, one of the on the volcano um, for Leon de pajaros that's the northernmost point and another two uh, bigger ones on the islands of Anatahan and uh, Pagan, where there are still some people going there. And uh, uh, we've talked to the mayor, to the governor, they don't have any objections, so um, we are planning to do this. This will be at least some um, step, okay, some little mark that we will leave to commemorate those missionaries who've labored here in the past and uh, as a sign of hope for the future of the Orthodox mission in the Marianas and in the whole Pacific Oceania region. So 
yes thank you very much for your prayers for your support please uh, do mission get ready for the mission and try to do it as much as you can in your diocese okay i mean in the place that you're responsible for may lord bless you and give you wisdom and strength i mean